Okay, greetings dear friends. Today we are going to control Pigman controllers. So I'll show you guys a sample code of what we will need to do for today. So let me just do the simulation here that I see exactly what our code is required to do. You see our features off so nothing is being shown that the seven segment displayed immediately I on it we start count here. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 after it takes to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on and so forth so that's what exactly I could be for today I'm going to write it okay greetings dear friends before we proceed to our video we're going to do some calculations so actually we're going to be connecting our seven segment display on the piece of our port B right so this guy has seven pins one two three four five six seven where this is A this is B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, from the data sheet, if you have this leg here, this other leg, this other leg, this other leg, this other leg. Yeah, you know all of their names. This is A, B, C, D, E, F, and this is G. Hope it is feasible. Okay, we'll proceed right now. So right now, for this uh, code, right, yeah. Are going to be displaying on our seven segment display 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, let's say 5 and 7. Okay, so for us to have a 0, for us to have a 0 from our seven segment display, right? Meaning what? For us to have a 0, meaning what? A, B, C, D, E, F. And G, uh, G, no, G is not supposed to shine, right? Like, that would be it. So, A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, all of them need to be shining for us to obtain a 0. So, we go right now to your port B. This is the format. We have R, B, 0. R, B, 1. R, B, 2. R, B, 3. R, B, 4. Sorry, I'm not going to take it today. We have R B zero, R B one, R B two, R B three, R B four, R B five, R B six, and R B seven. Whereby this is our A B C D E F and G R. So R B seven is not being used. So if one A B C D E F to shine, so we need to send one, 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 one. And here, right now, this guy is going to have a zero, right? So putting this in hexadecimal because in the code we're going to use it as hexadecimal. Have you seen? So this part here is two, and this part here is F H. So to have two F H. To have a zero on our seven segment display, we need to send two FH to our port B. So that's what we are going to do in the analysis. To have a five, let me just take quickly for a five. To have a five right now, who need to shine at this position right now? Is a very five is right. So A need to shine, F need to shine, G need to shine, C and D also need to shine. So you place at your position. A need to shine. That's a one. B not C yes you need to shine D also you need to shine E not F need to shine and our G need to shine there are so many of them five here so you put this also in hexadecimal two that will be please just do the calculations quickly so really maybe for those who know one one zero that is E B C D Okay, this is D, right? Yeah, hope that's not an error. And this one here is 6. So that will be 6D. So we're going to send the value 6D to our port B. So that's all for the calculation. So let's proceed right now in the coding part. Okay, greetings, dear friends. So right now we're going to continue with the coding part. I've seen already what our code, what our code here is required to do now. Pick my controller and what necessary calculations will be done and taking them into consideration. So I started, I did the calculations for you to see 
So whenever I'm writing, you don't get confused. So I'm going to save it here. Yeah, I'm dealing with segment. I'm just going to say segment. Yeah. So I say next. next. And then say finish. Okay. So you come right now. It's a new page. I've been seeing all of this. So it's going to be a little bit fast. I'm just going to paste something here right now. I've been seeing all of this. So I've seen how the header file is always there. Here right now, I'm initializing our registers. So we we'll avoid using number. And here right now, we are setting our port. That's why I'm moving from bank 0 to bank 1. So to set our port here, we are dealing with trace A and trace B. So we've seen the previous case that was, yeah, it is only one of the ports. So but for this case, it's with both of them. So we see right now, our uh, trace A, pin 2, as you can see here. Yeah, pin 2 will be sending an input to the port. So here is where it defines all of them. And where right now you see 00H, zero, zero meaning all of the pins that will be output. While at the level here we have an input. And for the input there is for our switch you saw in the simulation. So that's going to be it. And start here is our label. Okay, start here is our label. So everything is set. Let me save my work. I usually write in the code. In color okay i'm just going to save it somehow as segment yeah segment let me just say this so make sure you just retain the name save okay so we get started right now what will be the first thing we need to do we need to cancel all the outputs at our at our port b to make sure that what it is the display is totally off that's why when i start the simulation it is off so you need to say move lw First of all, start by setting zero each. From there, right now, you say move WF. That's you're moving it to the port B. Okay, guess everything right now is okay at this level. So right now, at our switch is our uh, at <coughs> excuse. Yeah, our switch is at pin two. Pin two, but at bit zero. No, at bit one. Sorry, as you can see it on this diagram here, right? A switch is connected to a bit one, but we call it that one pin two because this is pin one at this level. So let's go back to our coding. So what we are going to use right now is a keyword as a BTF. That's called the bit test. Yeah, test the file SS. Yeah, test the file SS right now. We are testing the better port A right. As we saw already on the controller is bit one. Yeah, here we write by the bit, not the pin number. So right now here is going to be a label also. Okay, I'll tell right now the use of the label when I'll be explaining this guy. So we say go to sorry, yeah we say go to button. Okay, so right now the use of this are label as we see already BTF SS that's a bit test file register. Well file register here is a port A. So that it does a test at port A, that's the second pin of our port A. And he discovers that what the value is zero. He's going to control the code normally. That you say go to button, you take back, you take back our label. And the loop will just be continuing. If it's zero, it remains at that position. It's just green. But right now, if this, if it tests and this one, it's going to skip this go to button. That is skipping one instruction. So when else is keeping it? It's going right now. It's going right now to send an output right yeah the one right now we say an output at port b so move lw output right now what do we want to display on our seven segment display so to make our code short yeah we're going just to display three numbers so from this example you'll be able to display right now maybe you can write your own code to display from zero to nine so we're going to display zero one and seven yeah guess that will be okay for you guys and we saw already the calculations so I start with the calculation so that you see. Okay, and we saw now for us to obtain a zero, we need to send a hexadecimal of 2f each to our port B. So we send a hexadecimal of 2f each to our port B. Yeah, to our port B. Okay, guess we are good at this point. So after this right now, we're going to call it delay because right now 
the zero is being displayed on a seven segment so you need to display for some time before you give chance to the next number because if you don't put a delay you might not see the numbers it will just be too fast in microseconds that you will not be able to see so we call a delay a delay is a subroutine which we are going to define at the end of our code so here right now zero is being displayed so let's display that of two i'm just going to copy okay copy and i paste to display right now okay move lw always make sure you put h to tell the assembler that you are dealing in hexadecimal so to display right now two from calculations to obtain two right that's 5b yeah that's 5b to obtain two on a seven segment display you send 5b to port b that's 5b it is in hexadecimal and after that you call again yeah. after that again you call a delay for some time for me right now i want to display a last value that is seven okay so for seven right now from calculations that's zero seven it's in hexadecimal hope you guys understood the calculations because i'm just using it assume that the calculations of good already so that will be zero seven each and we call it delay so our three numbers have been displayed that is good already so once they are displayed right now you can ask your assembler to go back to <coughs> to go back to your button and check if it's on or off and see what you can do so right now it goes back there and we created right now a label so that's good to start that's here you take back from the beginning that's by setting everything off and from there you proceed so i've been calling a subroutine that's delay so right now let's bring out a delay let me say delay right now from here we say loop oh, i've been seeing this already so we can be a little bit fast from there we say count one we are decrementing it by one and we say go to loop okay and then right now we proceed we say that of decrement f keep it zero count two we are decrementing it two by one and from here we say go to go to loop okay here yeah, it is zero okay then we proceed so since it is a delay you need to make sure that it says what it returns to the main code after it has called the delay and from there yes our code is and that yeah so you just make sure everything you have been talking of is okay okay i could start first of all by clearing all the pins at port b right there is no output that's why i let you not even shine at all so we proceed right now by doing a test bit at a port a that's the second pin at a port a once the test is being done yeah once the test is being done right now if it had the test is set yeah it skips right now this code to button and execute by this guy so here we are displaying a zero we saw from calculation how to display zero so we need to send a b c d e f all high that there will be one 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 one, one and g will be zero so this is the hexadecimal equivalence which gives us two f and the next line right now we talk of displaying them two yeah we talk of displaying two and this other line right now so guess everything is okay for the code let's see if i work once more that's control s it has been saved before you build always make sure you add yourself file okay how was it safe again <laughs> i really have so many projects here so i saved it as um sec m right here it is so we build right now code always say absolute okay build fill let's troubleshoot our error together okay sorry for that yeah actually our error right now <laughs> though we didn't troubleshoot it together at some intervention somehow yeah our error right now was instead of putting zero here we put bet um instead of putting O we put bet zero so that was the error and right now from there rebuild your code but you should always do that when you check your errors at this point at this part of the code here so yeah we go right now come back right now to our proteus i'm still going to use this circuit yeah 
like as explained already in the pins configuration that this is A, this is B, this is C, D, E, F and this is G. And this guy is to the ground. As we share right now what we have here, we make sure we have a 5 volt here. It initially comes with 0 so you change it and put 5. From there is ok. So let's upload our code. Ok, mine was safe at let projects. I'm just too fast about it. So here is my I've uploaded it to a microcontroller. I say OK. From there, let's run. I see if there will be a necessary error. OK, you are seeing, right? Uh, OK, <laughs> hope you are seeing how it has been displayed. Zero is displayed somehow by half. Meaning, actually, there's an error in our convention. Yeah, this is two. This is seven. Yeah. So let's stop the simulation and on uh, and off our switch. You see the way the switch is off, nothing happens. You see right? Yeah, nothing happens. The switch is off. Nothing happens. The one you only right now is that counting. But right now a zero is showing half. Let's try and correct it right now. Okay, I see the error. Normally it had to be. Normally it had to be 3H 3FH. Yeah, hope you guys can do the stuff of Hexa, this man and this man. Yeah, it had to be 3FH. So from there right now, let's save it and build it again. Okay, so right now it's good to go. Let's upload back our code. Desktop. The projects. Okay. So right now it's the three is in full. So when do you have convention to hexadecimal? Be very careful here. Yeah. So that's we want to show in. That's an error we had. So instead of three FH, we are talking of two FH. So yes, how to display number or your seven segment display using your peak microcontroller. So you can write down your own code to display zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At this you know that it's going to be very, very long. Yeah. But the next code right now are going to be seen how to use shorter code yeah so for now that is all very sorry if when i'm uploading my code to my pig microcontroller it's very fast but my previous videos yeah they have been all about it already my previous videos have been all about it already so just make sure you subscribe and follow the other videos to keep track along us along with us on the program of pig microcontroller so the simulation here see that when the thing is off nothing has been displayed yet because previously in our code previously in our code we started by what sending the zero zero each so none of them we show any value yeah. so if you only right now it start displaying the numbers in which you choose so thanks you guys very much for watching keep track of my channel by subscribing we are going to be seeing more interesting projects about my controllers like i said already we are not going to look only at the peak Okay, yeah, we are going to be looking also at the Arduino. Yeah, we start already with it, so we're going to proceed in. So subscribe to the channel and keep track. And you can exercise yourself by displaying other numbers, that's 8, 9. Yeah, 10 is not possible, this is a single one. 